Hi guys, welcome back to another conversation with Madame Blunt. Let's warm up while we talk. Okay, so today we're going to be having breast framing exercises. But first of all, please, you guys, I'm using the gym for my workout today. So you're going to be seeing people coming to the shorts and out of the shorts. I can't buy the gym, can I? So bear with me if you see anybody coming to the shorts and go out of the shorts. Don't get distracted. Just focus on your workout and let's get working. All right, so a few weeks back, I made a video about how to restore or how to um, get your boobs back after having your kids. And in that video, I was explaining that the only way you can restore your boobs back to their pre-pregnancy shape and peckiness is by having an expensive surgery. But that doesn't mean you can actually improve the look or the firmness or the peckiness. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys some exercises that will boost the outlook of your boobs. They will actually make it more perky, fuller, and a little bit up. That's a little bit uplifted. <laughs> okay, so these are just warm up. Of course, you have to prep the engine. You have to warm the engine before you start driving your car, right? So let's warm up our body, the muscles, before we now go into our workout for today. We're almost done. Now, we're going to be having two sections in today's workout. We're going to be having the standing section, and then we're going to go to the mat for our mat sections, okay? In the standing section, we're going to have two rounds of all the workouts we're going to do today. And then we'll go to the mouth, we're going to have two rounds too. Okay, so we're on the single shoulder rows. We'll soon head, up, head over to the double shoulder rows. And that's the end of our warm-up for today. So get ready, ladies. We are about to start the main workout. The double shoulder rows now. I am using the 5 kg weight for this set of workout, the smaller dumbbells. You can use whatever is okay for your arms. And we are done with our warm up. Now we are going for the first workout of the day, the standing 100. For the standing 100, you want to maintain a straight spine, stiff arms, a slight bend at the knee. As you can see, my arms are very stiff, even the wrists are not flapping, okay? Make sure your wrists are as stiff as your arms, okay? You want to relax your neck, relax your shoulders, and remember to tuck in and breathe. Let's go. We're doing 20 reps of this. Done. We're going to be seeing the preview of the next workout. The dumbbell butterfly or the butterfly dumbbells, any how you want to call it. For this workout, you're actually flapping your arms like a butterfly flapping its wings, okay? So every time your elbows come towards your face, you breathe out, you exhale. So we're doing exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. You get the gist, right? Okay, let's do that. And make sure your shoulders, your elbows don't go past your shoulders, okay? Your elbows should be on the same level as your shoulders. So your arms shouldn't go past or go below your shoulder level. That's what I'm trying to say. If you can see me, I'm always breathing out every time my arms close. So that's what you should be doing. Always breathe out. We're almost done. All right, our next workout, the overhead reach. For this, I'm going to turn my back so you can see what I'm doing, okay? Let's start. Every time the dumbbell comes towards your chest, breathe out. Exhale, exhale, and exhale. You're almost done. And you're done. Now the last standing workout for today, the dumbbell cross punch. 
for this you want to pivot on your toes okay every time you turn to your left you punch with your right and when you turn to your right you punch with your left but have it in mind you're not really punching because you don't want to lock your elbows when you punch you want to make it as soft as possible the aim is not to kill someone here okay try not to lock your elbows so you don't um, get some injuries by doing that okay just make it a soft punch like almost like you're reaching across the chest okay as you can see i'm not locking my elbow and remember every time you punch exhale breathing is very important in this workout and you are done we're going to go for our second round you can rest for one minute or you can just jump straight into it let's go so we're going with our standing hundreds first 20 reps and then the next workout after the standing hundred is a dumbbell butterfly get ready remember you're using your 5 kg but at this point you can actually drop to your body weight if your arms are already feeling sore just use your body weight that is also still challenging on its own now the good thing about today's workout is that in as much as we are working out our boobs you're also working your arms because you need your arms to work your chest most almost all workouts involved in working your chest also have to do with your abs so you're doing two in one today okay We're almost done. And we are done. Our next workout is the overhead reach. Check it out. You're allowed to stretch before you continue, okay? Now let's go for our overhead reach. Remember, you can drop to your body weight, okay? You don't have to overwork your muscles. We're doing 20 reps. Remember, this is the third workout on our standing section okay after this we have one last workout and then we are heading over to the mat don't go anywhere we are done with this one don't go anywhere we still have the mat section remember if your arms are feeling so we are doing it right remember to breathe okay breathe 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 don't hold your breath and our last workout the dumbbell cross punch but let's check it out a little check it out 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 even me i'm feeling some soreness in my arms okay all right let's get back to it don't punch hard please make it as soft as possible We are almost done and now we are done let's head over to the floor okay our first workout for today on the mat is the cobra pulses for that here is a preview for your cobra pulses you just want to be in the cobra pose then you pause okay you're pausing so your elbows are actually working hard and you're going to feel it you're going to feel some soreness on your elbows and your shoulders because they're really working hard okay okay you're almost done Whew, this is a little bit challenging so stretch out you're done you're done you're done we're going for our chest press for this i'm using the heavier dumbbell now for this chest press you can either fold your legs or you can just stretch them out like i'm doing here your aim is to make sure the elbows does not hit the ground okay don't allow your elbows to hit the ground Every time your elbows come toward the floor, 
you breathe out, you exhale, okay? Are you counting? You're almost done. We're doing just 20 reps, okay? You guys are amazing if you are doing this workout you are absolutely amazing because this workout is even challenging for me so you are really really doing well okay and we're done now this is our next workout the superman raises as you can see just lay on your stomach and fly like a superman okay or do 20 reps let's go ignore that leg now for this superman raise, you're going to actually feel it on your waist too. You are feeling it on your chest, yes. We're going to feel it more on your waist too. So you are doing it. Don't think you're not doing it right if you feel it on your waist. You're actually doing it very well. This is also working on your glutes, your thighs, your arms, your chest. Most especially and importantly, your chest. You're almost done. You're doing great. I know it's hard. You're doing great. You're doing great. You're almost done. Don't stop, okay? Please, just finish it up. Finish it. Just count it. 20. And you are done. You see? That wasn't that hard, okay? Now, our next workout, which is the last workout for today, is the straight arm pullover. For the straight arm pullover, you can also fold your legs or just straighten them the way I am doing mine. And then you just pull your arms over your head, okay? Like you're seeing there. You're doing 20 reps. And you are done. Okay, no, no, you're not done. We we'll go for the second round. Don't run away. You're almost done. Just finish this with me. Then we'll go for the second round together. Okay, you can do it. I'm very sure you can do it. Count with me. 16, 17, 18, 19, the last one, and 20. Yay! You see, you're done. You're done. Okay. All right. We're going to do second round now. Round two. Don't go anywhere. You're almost done. You just four exercises, 20, 20 reps, and you're done. And you know you've achieved something today, okay? And then you can wear, you know, you see, if you continue doing this workout, you won't be needed to be wearing your push-up bras anymore, okay? Your chest will be uplifted. And as they're getting uplifted, they are lifting your boobs with them. So let's do this, ladies and ladies. And 10 more. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two one Woo! i felt that number two your chest press okay use the heavier set of dumbbell you can use the smaller ones whichever is okay for you be comfortable but still push yourself okay to the limit okay let's go you see i'm folding my legs now any one you want to do We are almost done. We're halfway through. Let's finish it up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Not so bad was that. Two more workouts to go, okay? two more workouts just lift yourself up and let's go we're going for the superman raises let's do some fly okay let's do some flying 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 we're halfway through let's count down together let's go 10 
you're almost done. Nine, eight, you can stop and rest and then continue again. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Stretch it out, okay? Now the last workout, the pullovers, okay? And you are done. I'm folding my legs now too. Let's go. One, two, three. Your arms shouldn't touch the floor at all. Not when you're taking it over your head and not when you're bringing them back. You should never touch the floor until you're done with this workout, okay? This workout is actually good for diastasis recti too. Four, three, two, and one. You're done. All right, let's stretch to the side. And let's move over to the other one, to the next side. Bring your hands in front of you. Now let's stretch out our elbows. We've worked them hard. Let's stretch out the shoulders and the elbows at the same time, okay? On the right side. All right, let's lean forward for the last time. And ladies, that's the end of today's workout. I hope your muscles are humming as pleasantly as mine are doing right now. Thanks for joining me for today's workout. Please like, share with your friend, and subscribe if you're not yet a subscriber. Thank you very much. See you guys very, very soon. Bye-bye.